In this video, we're gonna take a look at utilizing a built-in tool that comes with your Windows operating system. This tool is called the Snipping Tool. Now, let me do a little bit of setup here. The Snipping Tool will allow you to create screenshots of your computer screen. Whether you want to get a screenshot of the complete screen, a specific window you've got open, a specific portion of your screen. You've got many different options here. Once you've created a screenshot, you then have options on how you want to share that screenshot. You can save it to your computer. You can copy it and then paste it into a different file or an email message or whatever it might be. Or you've got an option to send the snip via an email. Let's take a look at how you can work with the snipping tool. Now, this right here, this is the snipping tool. You can open this up by going to your Windows Start menu. If I open that up, I can just search for snipping and it's right there. I give that a click and it'll open up this window right here. And as you can see, it's not a very complex application. There's not a whole lot going on here, not a lot of buttons. It's got some bells and whistles, some pretty cool things, but it's not overly complex. So here I can just go straight to the new button and I can create a new screenshot. Now, let me open up an Excel window here just so we have something to work with. There we go. Here's my snipping tool window. I can just go to new. It's gonna give it just a moment and you'll see my screen kind of wash out. This is the snipping tool is now active. Here, you can see that on my mouse, I've got a little plus sign and I just left click and drag to denote or call out the area that I want to create a screenshot of. Once I let go, I've now created the screenshot. From here, we've got a few options. I can go to either saving this, save it on my computer somewhere in a folder on my desktop, give it a name, whatever I need to do. But I'll save it locally on my computer. You got an option for copy. I can copy the results and then I can paste it into an email or another file like a Word document, a PowerPoint presentation, whatever it might be. We've also got an option to send the screenshot. So if you've got an email application configured properly, you can utilize the send option here to send this image via an email. You've also got some options to place markings, annotations on your screenshot. So here I got a little pen tool. I can select that and I can make highlights. Say this area right here is the important one. You got a highlighting tool where you can click and drag and highlight. Maybe I want to highlight R. Smith. And you've got a little eraser where you can get in there and, oh, you know what? I don't need that. You can delete those markings out of there. I like using the pen tool. I can just draw on the screen to highlight something. I can leave little notes. Takes a little bit of practice. Here's my mouse skills. So I'm going to put notes on there. Uh, but I can capture a portion of my screen and then make highlights, little annotations that go along with that screenshot. Now, if I save this, if I copy it, if I send it via an email, those little highlights that I've made there will go with this image as well. So you've got several options here as far as making screenshots. If I go ahead and go up to new again, see my screen kind of grays out, but back into the snipping tool, I can go to mode and you've got several different options on how you want to capture your screen. So here I can use a freeform snip. This will allow me to just click and drag a specific area of the screen. Take a look. Literally click and drag to capture a portion of the screen, right? Maybe it's not the whole thing that I want. It's just a little section of the screen. I get back in there again. I've got an option for rectangular snip. That's the most common one that I use. Just click and drag a rectangle, capture that portion of the screen. You got a window snip. I got Word, PowerPoint, Outlook, a browser window, all open on my computer. I just wanna grab the browser window. Then I can utilize the window snip and inform it which window I wanna capture. You got a full screen snip. Once again, maybe you've got all these windows open, but they're open on different areas of your screen. And I wanna capture all of them. Well, you can use the full screen snip to do that here. And all the same operations apply. You can save it, you can copy it, you can send it via email, and you can create your little highlights on it as well using the pen tool. So again, this is the snipping tool. Try it out, really simple to use. 
I've got several different online courses and inside of each of those courses, I've got Q and A boards where users can go in, ask your questions, right? Type out your question, type out what's happening, right? And then get answers back, answers from myself, from my team, from other students. But something that is a huge help within a Q and A board or a message board is images, right? Text is great, but an image is worth a thousand words. Try it out. You got something going on. You need to communicate this with somebody else. Oh, I got an error in my formula in Excel. My input mask isn't working inside of Microsoft Access. Uh, I've got an error in my VBA code. What's going on? Right? Or I want to show something off. Hey, take a look at what I created. Or take a look at the sales report and capture a screenshot of it. You can use a snipping tool. Then you can save it to your computer. You can send it off via an email. You can copy and paste it. Whatever you need to do. The snipping tool. Very cool. So make sure you try it out. Get in your start menu. Search for the snipping tool and try it out. So if you learned something new here, do me a favor. Give the video a like. Give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you get updates about new videos just like this so you can learn something new within the Microsoft realm. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you in the next video.